This is the orbit of the terrestrial planets of our solar system, and here we see the orbits of the giant planets. Their paths appear nearly circular, a result of the stable conditions in which they formed and evolved around the Sun. Now, when we move beyond Neptune, we encounter smaller and irregularly shaped worlds known as trans-Neptunian objects, or TNOs. Unlike the inner planets, the orbits of many of these objects are highly elongated and stretch far away from the Sun. Take one example, the trans-Neptunian object named Sedna. Its orbit is extremely elongated with a closest approach to the Sun at about 76 astronomical units well beyond the Kuiper Belt. At its farthest, Sedna drifts nearly a thousand astronomical units away, taking more than 11,000 years to complete a single orbit. The mystery of such distant stretched out paths has puzzled astronomers. In recent years, Scientists have proposed that the strange, elongated orbits of Sedna and other distant TNOs might be influenced by the presence of an unknown planet far beyond Neptune, often referred to as Planet Nine. This hypothetical world could be gravitationally shaping the paths of these distant objects, but there's a problem. Recently, scientists discovered two new objects beyond Neptune, and what this new discovery revealed about Planet Nine is really shocking. One of these newcomers, designated 2017 OF201, appears large enough to qualify as a dwarf planet. It was detected in deep archival surveys spanning years and confirmed through observations by telescopes in Chile and Hawaii. Its orbit is nothing short of extraordinary from a perihelion of roughly 45 AU, bringing it inwards near Pluto's distance, to an aphelion soaring beyond 1,600 AU, and it completes a full orbit in nearly 25,000 years. Then there's the other newcomer, 2023 KQ-14, nicknamed Ammonite. This fourth known Sednoid, or Sedna-like object, was found using the Subaru telescope and confirmed via archival data and follow-up observations. But 2017 OF201 doesn't fit the same clustered pattern as the other distant objects thought to be shaped by Planet Nine. It moves through space on a path of its own. On the other hand, Ammonite's opposite orbit makes it even harder to believe that one hidden planet is guiding all these distant objects. If more of these misfits are found, the idea of one big shepherd planet starts to look shaky. So, if it's not a planet, what else could be out there? Let's explore the main possibilities scientists are talking about. One idea is that instead of one large planet, the combined gravity of many smaller objects could be shaping the outer solar system. Imagine the Kuiper Belt, the ring of icy bodies beyond Neptune, was once far more massive, full of thousands of Pluto-sized worlds. Over time, their collective gravity could have nudged some objects into the strange orbits we see today. In this case, there's no hidden giant, just a swarm of icy bodies working together like an invisible team. Another possibility is that the orbits of these distant worlds were shaped long ago by something that's no longer there. Early in the sun's life, our solar system was surrounded by many other young stars. One of them could have passed close by, its gravity pulling some of our icy bodies outward and stretching their orbits. This stellar flyby could leave the same kind of fingerprints we now see, without needing any big object to still be there. A third possibility is that something was there once, a planet the size of Neptune, that got kicked out of the solar system entirely. During the chaotic early days, the giant planets like Jupiter and Saturn were moving around and their gravity could have flung another planet away. As it left, it might have disturbed the orbits of far-flung icy objects leaving behind the strange patterns we see today. And then there's the most exotic idea of them all. Maybe it's not a planet, but a primordial black hole. These are tiny black holes that could have formed just after the Big Bang. 
If one of them happened to wander into our solar system and got trapped by the sun's gravity, it would be orbiting silently out there right now. It wouldn't give off light, so we couldn't see it directly. It might be only the size of a bowling ball, but weighs several times as much as Earth. Detecting it would be incredibly hard. We'd have to look for unusual gravitational effects or maybe flashes of radiation if it interacted with passing matter. Now, that black hole idea is exciting to imagine, but it's also extremely speculative. There's no evidence for it yet. It's just one of the possibilities scientists keep on the table. Well, even some scientists believe that if an overlooked object exhibits behavior that defies natural explanations, the alien spacecraft idea occasionally surfaces because the universe can surprise us. There are also some scientists who think we might be fooling ourselves entirely. They point out that discovering these faraway objects is tricky. Telescopes can't scan the whole sky all the time, and we're more likely to find objects in certain regions because of where and when we look. This observational bias could make it look like there's a pattern in the orbits, when in fact it's just a side effect of where we've searched. If that's true, then there might not be any hidden object at all. Still, even the skeptics admit that the outer solar system is far more complicated than we thought 20 years ago. Every time a new extreme object is found, like Sedna, Ammonite, or 2017 OF201, it adds another piece to the puzzle. Sometimes that piece fits neatly. Other times, it forces scientists to rethink the whole picture. So, let's return to our question. If something is orbiting our sun silently far beyond Neptune, and it's not a planet, then what is it? Well, it could be a collective swarm of icy worlds acting together. It could be the lasting trace of a star that once brushed past our solar system. It could be the ghost of a planet that was kicked out long ago. Or, in the most mind-bending scenario, it could be a tiny black hole quietly looping around the sun. And maybe, just maybe, it's a gigantic alien spacecraft that's been looping around the sun for centuries, quietly watching us like a cosmic wildlife documentary crew. If every other explanation fails, I have a feeling Professor Avi Loeb might already have that idea tucked somewhere in his head. But, technically, it's still a possibility we shouldn't completely rule out. After all, the universe has a way of making the wildest ideas seem tame once the evidence shows up. The hunt for answers is ongoing. Astronomers are using powerful telescopes to scan the far reaches of the solar system. The Vera C. Rubin Observatory, which will begin full operation soon, will be a game changer. It will scan huge areas of the sky over and over, making it much harder for a large, slow-moving object to hide. If something massive is out there, this telescope might finally spot it. But even if we don't find a planet, that doesn't mean the search was a failure. We've already discovered dozens of new icy worlds, mapped parts of the solar system we'd never seen before, and learned more about how planets and smaller bodies move under the sun's influence. In the end, whether we find a hidden planet, a black hole, or simply the echoes of ancient cosmic events, the search will change how we see our place in the universe. Because every time we push the boundary of what we know, we're reminded that the solar system is not a closed box. It's a vast ocean, and most of it is still unexplored.